I'm going to show you how you can write a book from start to finish with chat GPT and other generative AIs. And this might be helpful if you intend to sell the book on KDP or some other platforms. If you're ready to learn this, let's jump right into this. So the first step would be to choose a niche. If you intend to sell your book on Amazon, there are a lot of um, lucrative niches you might want to choose from. For example, you might decide to write a self-help book. You might decide to write log books or coloring books for toddlers. You might decide to write activity books for kids. Or you could also decide to write short story books for kids. And that's the niche I'm going to be selecting from in this video. I'm going to be showing you how we're going to do that. Okay. So so the next step is keyword research. By keyword research, we mean finding a good keyword that has a lot of search traffic so that you can make sales when you publish your book on Amazon, for example. If we search stories here, we can see that Amazon is already suggesting some keywords. Okay, so these things here mean that people are searching each of these keywords here, each of these things here. Okay, so if you choose any of this to write a book on, that is a good idea but the thing is you might not be ready for the competition because some of these keywords here might but the thing is you might not be ready for the competition because but the thing is you might not be ready for the competition because some of these keywords here have a lot of competition on these topics okay so so if we search stories okay you can see that we have over 200,000 results for stories from page one to uh, page 48 okay so that's a lot of competition so what you want to do is to niche down and to niche down I'm gonna add stories for kids this way I have niched down so let's search this so niching down means that from page one to page 48 we have uh, about a hundred thousand a uh, search result here okay so you can see that we're beginning to niche down okay the competition is still high okay so you might want to stay clear off unnecessary competition so that you could make sales okay so and I want to add something like um, bedtime stories for kids okay so and then if I search this now so we can see now that we're beginning to niche down properly from page 1 to page 48 we have about 5,000 results okay so if you look at this page you can see these little boxes on the books displayed here i'm making use of a software okay so keep watching somewhere in this video i'm gonna tell you the software i'm using and um what you can do with this software is to help you there are free softwares okay but let's pay attention now to see what we can do with the softwares there are actually two of them so one of them is actually going to help you know the bestseller ranks of the books that are ranking for the keyword you searched if you noticed we searched bedtime stories for kids okay so we can see that uh, the tool we are using has given us some vital information about each of these books okay and uh, one of the most important things you want to pay attention to is the bestseller rank the bsr the lower the bestseller rank of the book the better the keyword okay so what you want to make sure is that um, you're getting a bsr rank lower than a hundred thousand for the displayed results so the next step will be to come to chat gpt to key in the right prompt okay so here i have said i want to write a book that will be a compilation of 10 bedtime stories for kids generate 10 unique suitable titles okay watch the use of the word unique okay because i want the work to be unique i don't want chat gpt to plagiarize somebody else's work so as you can see now i have the dream Weaver's tales once upon a nighttime bedtime adventures so here are the 10 suitable titles okay so so the next step will be to ask chat gpt to write out stories on each of these uh, titles here okay starting from the first one so your prompt should look something like this write me a unique 2000 word story on the first title on your list please make it comic okay easy to understand and very interesting to read so i'm gonna click enter and chat gpt is gonna start its work 
So ChatGPT is doing its work. This is what you would have to do for each of these titles. And what you're gonna do is, once ChatGPT is done writing the story, you would copy each story, paste it on uh, Google Doc, and then you're gonna have to make sure you read the story yourself infuse your ideas into the story find ways to add a human touch to the story okay and this is very important the essence of doing this is so that once you have the story you would have a unique story that would be plagiarism free okay so we have our first story okay so you have to go through it you can see here it says once upon a time in a far off land there lived a dream weaver named luna okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the story the next step will be to use a tool like Grammarly.com to check for plagiarism. You can sign up for a free account. There are a bunch of other alternatives on the internet. Okay. So once your story is pasted, uh, the next will be to run a scan for plagiarism. So we can see these two tells us we have found plagiarism in your test and have also detected 14 writing issues. So this is why it would be wrong to just copy what ChatGPT has just given to you and then start going ahead with it, okay? You have to check it for these issues, okay? So after correcting the plagiarisms, the next thing will be to come to a tool like Spinbot to spin it to make sure that um, it is completely plagiarism free okay so once you paste it here you click on the spin okay and you would have it uh, spinned and um, it's also advisable to go through it again to make sure that um, there are no issues with the sentences so the next step will be to run your content through an AI detecting software okay to see if softwares like this can detect if your final work is ai written so if you do all i've been saying your work is gonna be completely free from ai okay and that's how you are going to know that your work is original content so you might want to use uh, meet johnny to generate images for the book come here and um, use uh, the right prompts to generate these images you can see this beautiful image here so if you want to use meet johnny for this all you need to do is to key in slash and then imagine this is gonna pop up here you're gonna tap on it gently and then you're going to key in your prompts okay to generate the images you want to use for your book so the next step will be to then properly format your book and upload on the platform where you want to sell the book if it is KDP I've got a video linked in the description that's gonna show you the next steps for Martin how to create a cover for the book how to upload it on Amazon and all of other interesting stuffs. Okay, I don't want this video to be unnecessarily lengthy, so get the video. It is in the description if you want to know more. Okay, now I did promise that I was gonna uh, tell you the free keyword tools I was using earlier on in this video. So the free keyword tool is from this website here, selfpublishingtitans.com. Just scroll down to the bottom here. You will see where it says tools for KDP okay um you can see the first one here best free kdp research tool install it as an extension okay you can also install this one here amazon keyword suggestion expander just install these things and when you're searching on amazon is gonna they are gonna give you more information to help you write on a good topic okay so this is it for this video if you love content like this make sure you subscribe here we'll talk about crypto money making and all of these other good stops okay this is brick zelbies and is your guy can sign off